Okay, I wanted to show you all again everything. I cleaned it up. Uh, here's that main breaker box I was using before, which uh, has a 24 volt leg and a 12 volt leg. They kind of stagger back and forth between them, anyhow. Um, and of course, from there, they go over to all the different grid ties I have. Um, I do have more of each of these grid ties just laying around, but I don't have enough power yet, wattage wise, to push every one of them. Then I have 24 volt banks right here. I have also a couple more. And here's some of my 12 volt battery bank. And then also it keeps going down here. More batteries there. I have another tray of batteries also. Um, here's the meter for the wind turbine. There ain't no wind today. I built this also, and if any of y'all need these breakers or anything, you can get a hold of me. I'll sell you some of these breakers and stuff. Put that off there. Alright, so what's indicated here is my wind turbine main is right here. Go into the breaker. Comes across here. I took some A and L fuse holders and made a shunt bar with a fuse into it. So these are two A and L fuse holders right here, which I can sell you also since I own an auto store. I have all this in stock always. Then I put 200 amp A and L fuse on it. This comes over here, and it's going to feed up to the top of the box, and it comes right into our charge controller, uh, which has a divert on it also. This piece right here is from Missouri Wind and Solar for this particular piece. Um, but it goes into here, and then uh, wire goes back there again, kind of deviates back over here, and this is going to be the battery's main power from that box over there. Also, throw a 250 amp. If you need a 500 amp service, you always put two of these together like this, take both your mains, come in together, and just coat back out to the battery with double wires that offset the load. Um, but this, of course, is going through this breaker right here. And of course, we go down, and it comes right into my battery bank. Okay. Over here is my ground from the turbine coming into a ground distribution block, and then it goes to the battery as well. i got to play with this right here. i got a bunch of these also I can get my hands on as well. These are automatic resetting uh, breakers, um, and they go, they're 30 volt ones. Um, I can get them in different amperages also. I also can get the, them 250 amperes in different ones as well. But I just want to kind of show you all what I did to that. And also, Another thing I sell in my business is capacitors. Uh, it's good to have one of these because when you first start up something, it pulls a lot of current. It'll pull the power from this capacitor before it uh, actually pull it from your battery bank. So it helps crutches it out a little bit. I've noticed that on my bigger inverter, it makes it work a lot less harder when I use one of these capacitors. This right here is a two for ad. Um, if you need one of these, it's like $90 for one at my store. Um, they can be used either in the wind and solar, or they can be used in your car, obviously, for audio systems. This right here is going to be a 12-volt one. I would only recommend using it on a 12-volt bank. I've never tried on a 24-volt bank, and it is old. I do not recommend it because I think it's only rated for 20 volts. So, but. And, of course, it's a mess over here on this thing because I'm still wearing up some stuff. But there's my big uh, inverter, my 3,000-watt trace inverter, which is wired up. Um, but that's just a, a little more, a little cleaned up version of what I got. I still got a bunch more components to install here. I have boxes of stuff that needs to go up on this wall. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm probably going to take all this down too and actually do the entire wall from left to right of my whole entire basement out here. Go all the way down that way. So, because I got a bunch more boards to go and I got a couple more turbines to put up. And, you know, I just thought you would want to look at this, and if there's any questions, just give me a holler right now. The going between the two battery banks works out great. 12-volt battery bank runs the house pretty much. Um, and then the 24-volt bank, I charge that up with two, two solar panels up there, and basically if I'm pulling a lot of wattage in the house, I can also use this and dump some more wattage into the actual house's grid. So i got to put covers and all these right here to make them where they can pass code, and now i got to do conduit on everything, which... I'm just dreading to do on all this wiring. But also another thing you know, I'd recommend having it too is on going to your actual inverter. Obviously you need to fuse it and there's a 300 there and another 8 out fuse holder. Um, if you need, uh, let's say, 600 watts or you've got like a 6,000 watt inverter, you can also you know, put another 300 above this one right here. Your power, you can branch two wires off and go straight into your inverter that way by putting two legs going to it. So, 
Yeah, so if there's any connectors anybody needs, you can get a hold of me. Or you can, uh, Missouri Wind and Solar also has got stuff as well. If you need to get a hold of them, they got all the other charge controllers and components you need as well. So, just email if you need anything.